We're back with today's Giants Insider. We're joined by Giants Center, John Jalapio. John, you had a chance to work with Daniel Jones a lot in the preseason, in game situations. What is it like being with him in that huddle as he leads this team and leads the offense? Oh, he's prepared. He's prepared. He's confident when he comes into the huddle. He approaches the huddle and takes command of the huddle. So I'm just really excited to, 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 uh, to see that. How about the pre-snap reads in terms of protection? It's something you work with him on. He has to be able to see things quickly and make snap decisions. He's a young guy. But does he play like a guy that maybe isn't that young? No, he play, He plays like a veteran out there. Um, he sees the defense pretty good. And, uh, you know, that speaks volumes to the quarterback room, the veterans they have in there um, helping them, preparing them for this day. So um, it's really exciting to see. All right, let's talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're, they're the opponent this week. They blitz more than any other team in the league yeah. the first two weeks of the year. As a center who's helping Daniel with those protections, right, what are you guys looking for to try to figure out where these guys are coming from on a play-by-play -play basis? Yeah, at the end of the day, it's communication. You know, if we see it all, um, together on the same page, we got to communicate. It, um, from the line to the to the quarterback to the quarterback to the running back. So, um, you know, we do have a, 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 a bit of a challenge uh, uh, ahead of us going into this game. What are the things about the Bucks defense that makes them difficult to deal with and the way Todd Bowles organizes things? Oh, man, the run game. You know, they, they, they do a good job stopping the run. And, uh, you know, you know, obviously that's what we're all about is running the ball. So we got a good challenge ahead. We got to do our job to, to open up the holes for Saquon and uh, cl clear communication for Jones. Finally, generally speaking, what's the mood in the locker room, the reaction to the big decision to change quarterbacks, and how do you feel like at practice this week the team has responded to the news? Uh, I think we responded well. I think we rallied around both guys, you know, with the transition of the quarterbacks. I think we were supporting Eli and Jones at this time. John, good stuff. Thank you. John Halapio, today's Giants Insider.